Hi, it's Dominica in here and today we're gonna talk about work. Hello guys, so today we are gonna talk about how I found job in Cambridge, how I figure out how to find a job in England and I'm gonna share with you my tips to find a job, to go through the interview process and I'm gonna talk about my job that I found in University of Cambridge Press. So uh, at the University of Cambridge Press I am a uh, conference assistant. It's not like a high high job but I'm planning to climb or go into the marketing section in there. So how I found the job? Um, it was quite a coincidence just because um, I was looking for a job anyway. So I was living in Luton and I decided to move to Cambridge like four months ago to study my master degree at Anglia Ruskin University and I decided to find a part-time job. So I went through LinkedIn profiles and I went through uh, LinkedIn jobs, I went through the Indeed, which is incredible. Um, Indeed is the best website that you can find jobs in the UK and I went through basically Google where I can find any jobs. I've applied to a few but I found one which was my work that I'm working in. It was the position of conference assistant in press and I thought why not try. I actually didn't think that I would get it because I was still um, struggling with English and I was still not confident about me being somewhere nice, being working for someone who is important. So I tried, I've applied and they go back to me saying that they want me uh, to come for the interview to Cambridge. I was shocked but I was happy at the same time and so yeah I went to Cambridge to do the interview. Uh, I realized the place is really small but at the same time um, the staff members were so lovely, they were so amazing and I went through the interview, it went okay, I was like shaky at the end and it, it went quite good so I went home, I went back home uh, thinking oh my god there's probably hundreds of people applying for this job like 50 others they got you know the interviews and stuff and they called me uh, I'm not sure I think it was like after two weeks or three weeks after the interview and they called me saying yes you got a job would you accept this and I was speechless I was that time in the park with my mom and after the call I just started screaming I was so happy about it and yeah so I got a job there I was the only one who got a job because I asked my manager later and I was so surprised I was so happy so I'm telling you guys even though if you are struggling with English you're coming from different country you're an international student or you're EU or even if you're from here from Britain and you want to find a really good job don't just don't be scared just apply there because everything can happen just like happened to me because I was not confident whatsoever and I did it because I, somehow I believed in myself at some point and I decided to just apply there so if there's a job you want just go for it and apply you've got nothing to lose anyway there are five main basic rules that you have to uh, fulfill you have to have on your interview uh, without that you might fail so first of all don't be late it's rude to be late for people who are waiting for you want to hire you and you're just gonna be late that's rude so don't be late because that's the worst sign of time management secondly bring your documents in case anything they will forget your CV you need to bring your passport you need to bring any documents especially if you're an international student bring your um, eligibility for working in the UK um, bring your visa bring your any documents because you don't know if the manager will want to see um, if you're legally here or just see your passport or scan any documents so be prepared three know something about the the place you want to be in so I did some research when I came to Cambridge and everything what they said at the beginning about the company I knew because I read about them and 
the, the important thing is they can ask you, they will ask you, what do you know about us? What do you know about the company you're, you're applying for? Do you even know what position is that? And if you will not know where you apply or what is your position, then, you know, it's really bad, you know? Like you have to know, you have to know where you're applying. If the company resonates with your um, beliefs, with what you want to do. Know a bit of history, know about uh, names of the managers, of uh, CEOs, just just know brief stuff, you don't have to know everything, just know something. Four, wear nice clothes, wear something that shows that you are a clean person, your clothes should be suitable for job you're doing. Don't wear suits for, let's say, uh, working in the gym if you're applying to gym. Uh, but again, don't wear shorts when you're applying to the office. You have to wear suitable clothes for the suitable job. And believe it or not, but recruiters do look on your appearance. Uh, and what kind of person are you? If your shoes are dirty, they're gonna think you're a dirty person. And then you'll be less likely to be uh, picked and chosen to do the job. And five, have a positive attitude. That's like a core for everything for every meeting you have for every interview you have if you will be a negative person the recruiters will feel that you don't suit any position because you're grumpy you're negative you don't like people and you're probably not a team worker you have to be positive you have to show your recruiters that you really want to work for them and i really wanted the job and i knew that recruiters will feel it because I really felt it inside that I really want the job, you know? And I was happy about it, I was smiling, I was I was bubbly, I was joking with the recruiters sometimes and yeah, and I feel like being a positive person will win everywhere. Um, it doesn't have to be the interview, but just be uh, positive. If you, if you feel stressed, um, you will not be that positive because the attitude will be tensed, you will be closing yourself, you will be like sitting grumpy. You have to open yourself, just move your hands, relax. Um, if they bring you water, sometimes you can drink water at the beginning to calm yourself. Breathe, first of all, breathe definitely. Do not close yourself and just relax. Stretch a bit if you need at the beginning before going in. You can go to the toilet and just, you know, look at the mirror and say, you can do it, you can do it. You know, this kind of stuff. Just be positive. Attitude is everything. If you need some more tips, uh, you can comment me down below and I can send you a list of uh, things that you can do. If you're a Polish viewer, uh, I, you can comment me down below and I can send you some videos or articles I wrote. Uh, I'm working, again, I'm, I have two jobs. I'm working for the agency called Studia of Angry and we are recruiting Polish students to England. So if you have any questions about studying in England, you can always message me or comment down below and I can help you with the recruitment process to get to university in England. If you liked the video, click the like button or subscribe for more videos. The more subscribers, the more motivated I will be. So please give me some motivation because at the beginning I really need it. And if you really liked it, just comment down below your thoughts or feedback. Or if I did any mistakes, grammatical mistakes, because I probably did because I'm still learning. Please let me know about it and let me learn. Thank you very much for, for watching and have a great day.